Now, alongside a new camera angle, I have two things for you today and I am filming this in a very weird position because of my camera angle. But as you can see, there is more of my table to see now, which is definitely needed when unboxing vinyl records. And yeah, so these are two. One of them is what you'll see in the title more than just the name. The other one I just didn't mention because it's solely a test recording I bought to test the used player. It was like one euro. Uh, so we'll be looking at more than just the name later on in the video. But um, what I've done is I wrote down the appropriate grading the seller has given. This is VG+. And I immediately noticed something with this. Great, isn't it? Now, let's just get inside and see how bad the damage, if any damage, exists is. And I don't even know how to get it. Ah, okay. Well, used a shit ton of tape this bite. Having a nice sleeve thingy or whatever. So let's see if that was already enough to open it. Ah, holy shit. Oh boy, okay. Um, proved more or less sufficient. I got a cut through the tape here. There we go. It's opened up. Let's put me noise aside, put the tape aside and have a look inside and well 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 there it is night flight to venus um let's have a closer look here now white stains a ripped corner uh can i get this in the light yeah here you can see there was a price label that's torn off um the back doesn't look too great either. I'd say this is very good, but not very good. Plus, have a look inside and oh wow, we get a huge, huge poster. This is actually my first final unboxing ever, so I'm hope I'm I hope I'm doing great. And oh, gross. I will definitely keep this. I mean solely because it came included. Um, I will pause the video real quick to get the remote for my Bluetooth speaker so my ears don't get blown off when I start to play. Now, sadly, the remote isn't pairing, but I don't want to leave you waiting any longer. So we'll just have a go then. Um, I have to admit, I do not have a single idea on how to handle vinyl, but I think a friend of mine showed it to me once. I think you take your... ...finger and hold it like this. Do a sort of balance act and it's very dusty. Yes, this definitely needs some cleaning first. Um, great. Let me search for an anti-static... Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Now, I'm just gonna wipe it with an anti-static cloth. I hope this isn't too bad for the record, but after all, it is only a test record. Let's see then. This should be front side. Okay, the one starting with Night Flight to Venus and back side. The one I just cleaned unnecessarily because it doesn't hold any music. I'm a genius. Okay. Let's see then. I'm excited to see if my record player even works.
it is working. You can't hear it because it is working. That's great. That's really all I wanted to know. My record player is working and it is. <sighs> So it is not solely cheap crap after all. Now, with that being done, you know exactly that it is time for the main attraction. The thing you've been clicking on this video for. And you will get it right after I stored this back to where it belongs. Inside here. Come on. Let me open you. Uh. Oh, great. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Let me put it in the shelf real quick. My shelf is barely high enough to fit records. Almost like it's made for it, which I suppose it isn't. Okay, that is put aside and oh boy, here comes the main event. I don't want to even keep talking. I just want to get inside here. So cut this open. Follow along and cut this open which proves to be a little harder. Oh, come on. Well, let's open the other side. Uh, cut and cut. I hope this is enough to get it out, which, no, it's not, because you have to pull this off and then I suppose you can get inside. Um, or not. Ah, I see. There's a little thing to be cut here still. Uh, gotta be careful. I'd rather cut myself than the records. Okay. Now we can fold it up and get it out. Anything else in here? Nope. All right. First off, the infected mushroom sticker sheet. Ah, sweet. Infected mushroom stickers. Love them. Holy shit, yes. Yes. And now for... Holy shit. This is awesome. Um, let me see how I can best get this unsealed without damaging it, you know, because would you want to damage your new record? No. And to best unpackage this, I am going to use my trusty razor blade to get in between here very carefully. Just slice it open to both ends. And then it is basically open. Uh, just be careful around the corners. And once you've got it around the corners, you can just slide it off. Sweet. <laughs> wow, okay. So it has a matte finish. Um, and that's Basically all there is this. I don't even want to say holy moly. Oh, look at this. I can't even show it in its entirety. Uh, now, you can't, you can't even get the records out. 
they're stuck in here. No, I think they're really stuck. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Ah, uh, it was very unlucky how much force I had to use because now the paper is bent a bit. I mean, it is just the paper, um, but still, it is unfortunate. Now, let's get it out and have a look at this beautiful red thing. Now, I even see a darker tone of red. R1, it says. Picture side, this side. So on this side, there should be more than just a name. Let's see. And while it is playing silently in the background for me, I will show you the second disc. And something else I just noticed, because if it's laying flat, it's bending up a little bit. Ooh. Okay, it is playing very silently in the background, silently enough for the microphone not to pick it up and for me to get a copyright strike. Now here is the second disc. Oh, ho 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 ho. Would you look at this beauty? Wow. Beautiful. Oh, this is very interesting. If you get your head really close to the needle, you can actually hear the music. Okay, so what I will do is I will pack this back and I will mute my Bluetooth speaker and just get the microphone as close as I can so you can actually witness this too. I actually thought this was some kind of uh, unhealthy screeching, but I read that it is supposed to be normal. So now I will go mute the box real quick. Maybe you can actually hear it, but I will try to show it to you now. Yes, I think you could make it out. Okay. Let's stop this. Yes. Simply beautiful. Simply beautiful. Um. I will watch a YouTube video on how to handle vinyl discs correctly because I'm 100% certain that I'm doing this absolutely wrong. But oh well. Now, after seeing this product, I will definitely order the pre-order the BPE Empire one because it is also a very great album and I kind of want the BPE Empire disc now. I'm sold to vinyl, guys. These are only my first two releases and I'm already very sold to vinyl. It is great, I love it. What I don't love is how tight this all goes in here. That is not good. That is really not good. Ew. Okay. No. That is definitely 
not the way it is supposed to go. Let me get it back out. Well, anyways, um, I would like to thank you for watching. This has been going on for way too long. And I will see you in the next video. See ya!